Hello, this is Jeff Byers, and we're back in Maya again. We're going to go ahead and test our normal map out on our low poly cube. Let's go ahead and go into the attributes and click on your texture, your blend material, and let's go ahead and go down to bump mapping. Click on the option box, and we're going to go ahead and apply the file and we're going to need to use as, click on tangent space normals and we're going to go ahead and click on the filter type as off and we're going to go ahead and find the uh, normal map and let's see here, what do we got looks like dice normals, that looks about right, so let's click on open and there we go now I do have it on viewport 2 so let's click on notice that if I have it on regular default viewport so if I click on here you can click on high quality or viewport 2 to see it you also have to have the 6 key on see if I have it on 5 then it won't show up if I have I hit the 6 key that will show textures on wire or on shade so we also have that right here smooth shade all Okay, we also have renderer. We can find those renderers here, viewport or high quality rendering. It will not show in normal default quality rendering in your viewport, so you'll have to have high quality or viewport. I like viewport because it doesn't have the shadows. And that way you can see how it looks. Pretty cool. And that detail is not there, but it sure looks like it. Okay. So when we take the renderer off, it's just a uh, low poly. Very cool. Normal maps really make a huge difference in how your geometry looks. All right. So um, we'll need to go off and paint your textures, apply those to the color channel, and you need to get your specular maps um, coordinated uh, with your diffuse. So those would be plugged in. All right. And we'll have another video on that.